Today, students at the European School of Management and Technology and their president are having their photo taken with the CEO of Lufthansa. The event is designed to illustrate the college's close ties to business. Once everyone has smiled for the camera, Lars Hendrik Röller shows his guest around the campus. The university is housed in the building that was once home to Communist East Germany's Council of State. Today it's where future captains of industry are trained. Students get a first-class education financed largely by sponsors who have been recruited by the president and his team. It's hard work, but it's what the president or the deacon does. We sell the school, as it were, and get people interested so that we can finance our research. That's my main task. The school's central location couldn't be better. Bulla proudly shows the Lufthansa boss the view of the German capital from the second floor. The airline is among the private university's sponsors. A cutting-edge business school in a historic setting is a concept that appeals to the purse holders. We believe in promoting international dialogue and understanding. We also believe that this can only be achieved through education and management culture, which is what the airline and its international reputation stands for. This year's new students come from 14 different countries. They're keen to hear what Wolfgang Meyerhuber can tell them about his work with Lufthansa. We're a business school, so the students are very interested in what they can learn from guests such as Mr. Meyerhuber, who's done a lot for the country. Getting to meet him in person, talking to him and hearing his personal insights is a very important experience. Hulle has won over plenty of other sponsors. Some of the most notable are Deutsche Bank, Aon and Siemens. They're all more than happy to help promote a German business school that's internationally competitive. It's my great honor and privilege to welcome you to ESMT and to our very first annual forum. In class for and at conferences, rights. the lingua franca is English. Today, the topic for discussion is economic development in Russia. Not only does the university train students, it also advises businesses and offers part-time courses for professionals. We in Europe don't always see eye to eye with the U.S. The social market economy is a European tradition that's still very important here. This is its birthplace. In this respect, we differ from other business schools, such as the London Business School, which is geared more to the world of finance. That's why we focus more on society and politics. The university's president is passionate about Europe, but he spent many years working in the U.S., which was where he learned how to find sponsors. These days, he's very good at it. Ernst & Young are funding a university chair, and Russian energy giant Gazprom regularly sends managers to Berlin for further training. Tonight, the company is showing its support by funding a lavish dinner. Even top managers are football fans, so while the Euro 2008 was still underway, they were allowed to watch TV while they networked and ate caviar. Cultivating international networks is key to Rulla's concept. I believe we need to continue to grow, we need to attract more and more international people to Berlin, and I hope that soon we'll have a reputation for being the international business school in Berlin, and we'll also have commensurate funding as such. For now, he's busy with his quest for more sponsors. He's confident that one day, Berlin will be home to Europe's number one business school. Thank you.